Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. Here we show the utility of the perforated plates function in flow simulation. The utility is useful, for example, on this model of an inlet vent to a computer case. You can see there are numerous slots. Conventionally, you could create and install a lid on each slot. Next, you would need to install mesh controls to create small cells to properly resolve each small slot. Instead, you can use the perforated plate function and it will automatically calculate the effective free area ratio based on slot parameters that you input. The protocol is to 1. Create a lid covering all the slots. 2. Apply a boundary condition such as declaring the lid an inlet or outlet. And 3. Add the perforated plate function. We'll demonstrate on this model of a computer case. So, as you can see, we've already installed the lid covering the slotted holes on the inside of the case. We'll add a boundary condition onto the lid. And we'll choose the environmental pressure condition so it's exposed to ambient at the default values. Now we'll apply the perforated plate function. You can right click on this item in the tree or go to the menu item, Flow Simulation, Insert Perforated Plate. I will choose one that is user defined and in a minute we'll examine the properties of the definition. And just click OK. You can see the item in the tree. OK, let's look at the definition. Go into Flow Simulation Tools Engineering Database and navigate to the perforated plate user defined tutorial item. We'll double click on the rectangular holes item and here you can see the definitions. I'll post another graphic to look at the details. In the drop down for hole shape there are options such as round, rectangular and so on. We've chosen rectangular and specify the height and width here. In the coverage area you can specify the pitch in X and Y directions. Notice down below in the gray colored entry of free area ratio the software has calculated this for you based on the settings. So there you have it, use of the perforated plate function in flow simulation.